All right, so let's move on to the next step where we go to Google Sheets. You're just gonna create a new sheet. That's just docs.google.com. You get in, you log in with your Google account, and then you're here. We're just gonna hit new blank spreadsheet, right? We're not gonna really do much of anything to this at all. We're just gonna go ahead and name it, and we'll say crypto data, right? And then let's go over to add-ons because the first thing we need to do is we need to add API connector. So we have API connector. And if you don't have that, you just go to get add-ons, right? And there's all this different stuff you can use to basically mod the capabilities within Google Sheets. So super awesome in here. So I'll just do API connector. And over here, API connector, right? So you click on this, and then you're just gonna install it. It'll have some guides, and uh, but I'm gonna show you everything that you need so you don't have to dig through this. But you'll just hit install, and then you'll have it available to you. So let's go ahead into the add-ons. After you've installed that, you can pause the video right now, make sure that you've installed it. Um, and then when you get in here, just go to open, right? And while this is opening, we're gonna have it come up on the right-hand side, right? And so no API requests have been saved yet, great. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add new. So let's add new and we're gonna do a get request. And it has this kind of um, fake API URL path, which is that link that we made earlier. So that path, that URL that we made, we're gonna use that here in just a minute. And right here, headers, we don't need to worry about those. Authentication, we don't need to worry about those. And destination sheet, we're just gonna say set current. And that's gonna just tag us to sheet one, which is just our default. And for the purposes of this, we don't have to worry about um, changing what that sheet is called, really. So just leave it at sheet one, because this, what we're gonna do is just have this run by itself. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that link for our request that we had just a minute ago, and it, I have it right here. So I'm gonna copy this, and then I'm gonna go back over to my um, Google Sheet, and then I'm gonna paste that in. So once you have that ready to go, just put that in, and then check us out. We are, we are ready to go. So I'm gonna save it as crypto data fetch. Right, and I'm gonna hit save, okay? And then let's just go back over here to requests, and then we're actually gonna see that right in here. So if I go down here and hit run, this is gonna run, and then we're actually gonna see something really cool happen. It's gonna go out and it's gonna grab that data, and it's gonna bring it in. We can actually see that it just happened here. So let's look at what we have. We have this first row, these are the columns or the headers of each piece of data. So um, if I ran this over and over, it would just stack all the data down the line here. As you see, I've got um, every request gives me about 101 coins because there's about 101 inside of um, coin market cap. So every time I request it, I'm gonna get 101 rows and, or excuse me, I'm gonna get 100 rows. And when I get that back, I'm just gonna stack it up. Um, and what we really care about is Doge. So we're just gonna go in here and I'm actually gonna do a, a cool little filter real fast. Um, data, create a filter, I'll click on this. Clear Dogecoin, right? And then I'm just gonna say filter to that. And then see, I have only the Dogecoin data. So um, you don't have to do this in the Google Sheet. You can just leave it unfiltered. but we're gonna isolate the Dogecoin data later on when we build our dashboard. So I just wanna show you that that is also possible here. But for the time being, we can just um, leave this off. We'll just hit clear. So that way we just have all, all the data um, or select all. Okay, boom, now we're back to everything. Um, yeah, don't worry about, about filtering that. So this right here is gonna create a system in where you're gonna have all sorts of crypto data you're gonna have access to and you can go and request it as often as you want, or you can set it on a scheduler, which is what I'm about to talk about next. So 
Um, there's two ways to kind of go at this. So if I go ahead and I say run again, let me show you how that works. So you saw at the bottom here that it was blank, right? Um, and it just re-updated. So actually let's go into edit. And what we're gonna do for our output options is we're gonna say append. This is one setting that I forgot to apply, but you'll see this now. So we did a second API request and it just replaced all the data, right? It just overwrote it, but we want it to do an append and then we'll do add timestamp. Um, so that, that way we have that. So that's perfect. We'll just make sure we save that. Um, and then let's just hit run again. So now we just did a request and we should be doing another request and it should be appending on to the bottom here. And you see that it just happened, right? So now we have a situation in which all of our data is coming through and appending. So at the end of every request, we should have like Ravencoin and then we should start over with Bitcoin. And then if we come down to the bottom, it should be Ravencoin again. If I run it a third time, you don't wanna tap out this API by running it too much, but the at the speed that I'm running it, this is just fine. But you see now, boom, we've got now up to 300, 300 lines because I've done 300 requests, right? So this is what we're gonna do. So think about this happening every day. And if we want this to happen every day, we can go to schedule. So scheduling is a pro feature inside of API Connector. So you would have to actually pay them uh, a small monthly fee to get this to work. However, you can just go and hit this button to update your database as often as you need data, which is really reasonable. So if you are a crypto day trader or a market researcher or something like that, and you just need to get this data in your custom visualization every day, you just go here, run your request, you'll get the data in, it's completely free and you don't need to do anything. And that's how I will suggest you, you move forward in the course. But if you want to pay, you can pay, I pay, so that I can get a request that happens at midnight on the dot every day. So my crypto database just updates like clockwork every single day. And I just get new market data every single day. So every day my graphs and my charts, they grow over time. So it's uh, super, super cool. So let's cover what we just did real quick because that was kind of a lot. So what we did initially was we created a successful Git request to the coin market cap API and we got the data that we wanted. And later we're gonna filter it down to Doge for the sake of this project, but we got all the crypto data and we appended our data, we added it to a cloud database, right? Some people are gonna fight me on this, but uh, Google Sheets, the way we are using it, is now serving as our cloud database where we are putting everything somewhere that it's accessible by other applications that are hosted on the web and the other application that we're going to ingest is going to be our front end or something you can see and interact with and that's going to be our google data or our google studio data studio um dashboard that we're going to make later we're going to say hey here's our google sheet that's my database here's the data the request will feed that automatically if you have it scheduled or you're clicking that button every day and then it will ingest it and then we will display it for other people or yourself so that's, that's what we kind of just did. And yeah, we're gonna move on to the next steps here, but I just wanna get a little recap for y'all.